Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Miss Roxanne on Daily Rambles. Today we are doing season one of The Flash. We're doing episode 11 and it's called The Sound and the Fury. So start off with this really awesome car chase. For people who do not know, I love car chases so much. So, um, it was this car chase and then they, um, get the person and so they go back to Star Labs and they all take a group picture together and it's like a little cute little moment and then we uh, cut to our Scott a job at the newspaper and then we cut to Will's house which is a bomb house it's so cool looking I was like the hell is this because I want that house and then um like I said, it has a baller inside. It's just so good. <laughs> I can't even explain it. I mean, it's so great. And but then someone breaks all the glass in the house. It's like um had like a glass ceiling and it literally just shattered. And then we cut to a flashback scene where Wells is playing chess with um Hartley with some guy named Hartley. And then um present day um the police show up and trying to figure out um, about how the glass shattered and stuff. And it's supposed to be like really and like reinforced glass, but it just shattered like nothing. And but Wells knows who did it, and um, it's Hartley. And then we go to um, Iris's first day at work, and they basically the only reason why they even hired her basically is because of the Flash because she knows him and this and that and that's what the news people all think she's all she's good for. They don't think she's an actual decent reporter. And then um, then we cut to where Joe, he just knows Wells is hiding something. He doesn't know what but he knows he's definitely hiding something. And then we have Hartley is at uh, Hathaway Labs tr with a sound device like blowing up glass and everything. So Barry gets Hartley and says he knows Wells' a secret. And um, <clears throat> so the catch him into the um, metahuman cell. And Harley taunts him. And Wells shares his secret. And it was about the celebrator, how there was always a chance that it could blow up. That was more of a percentage than he let on. Like, still, I think like a 0.5 was really like a 10% or something. So that was his secret. And then Iris has trouble adjusting to work. And then we cut to Hartley wanted he wanted to be called. And um, basically he lost his hearing and had to get a hearing like um implant in and actually took it out and broke the glass into the cell and it um escapes and knocks out Caitlin. And um, the reason why he's even Doing all this is because Wells fired Hartley in the first place in favor of Cisco. That's why Cisco and Hartley do not get along. They thoroughly do not like each other. Period. So Wells has a press conference and confesses to his secret about the accelerator. And then um, Hartley takes a bridge hostage and just starts destroying cars. And so Barry shows up and he wants to help out, but um, he knows the frequency of his speed, I mean, of his hearing or whatever. And Barry's in a lot of pain through that, like a lot of pain. But Wells and Cisco um, think of a think up a plan, and basically they use the um, satellite radios of most of the cars. That's very much. There's mostly no cars have satellite radio in the car, so they bounce back a frequency to knock out the frequency that Barry is um, in pain with and to basically just cancel out the, the device. So Barry gives Wells a... Um, so they capture him and he's put back into the um, metahuman jail in the accelerator. Then Barry gives Wells a picture of them and he's kind of touched by that, but, you know, we have that happening. And then we have Joe and Barry have a heart-to-heart and Joe wants to investigate Wells. And then Hartley uh, kind of baits uh, Cisco by saying he knows where Ronnie is. And 
we found out Wells' device is unstable in the future room because um, uh, in the last episode, I forgot to mention this, my super bad. Um, basically, it's like a tachyon, tachyon particle thing that um, Mercury Labs had, and Wells, um, or the reverse flash, took it. So Wells took it, and it turns out the device is actually unstable. Forgot to mention that last episode. So sorry about that. <laughs> so that was the end of the episode. It was a really good episode. I'll give this A+. Plus. We had the intro of Hartley and all this type of stuff. And we will dive even more to that into the next episode. But I just like everything about this episode. It was really good. And how Barry's still learning about his powers and stuff. And so that's going to be really interesting to see what happens next. And so that's what I do for me. Now I give us, I think I already said, I'll give us A plus rating, but I can't remember. So anyway, that's what I do for me. So if you like this video, please um, comment down below, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you on my next video. And I want you to have a super duper awesome day. Bye, everybody.